hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is lauren on this channel i discuss my finances with you guys um how we use the cash stuffing method and about the budgeting method i i am constantly recording and sharing with you guys my progress so if this is content that you're interested in i hope you subscribe like comment and share um okay guys if i'm being honest my last video i did was a budget with me for january and uh, let me tell you right off the bat like january i stopped tracking so you guys won't see me um tracking my expenses i started and then i stopped because money was just coming out of my savings and uh, my savings is next to nothing however that is just a temporary state i do have some ideas in mind to get my account back to what it was but besides the point i will continue to stick to what i am doing currently which is using the budget by paycheck mom workbook to um do better with my finances so based on my calendar my january my february paycheck falls on the 23rd i'm currently recording on the 21st of january so i need to start prepping for my paycheck which is uh, which will be hitting my account monday night um which is tomorrow night um so i do tweak i do what am i saying i did tweak my um my budget categories even if you you develop a budget your budget categories in the beginning of the year most likely or last year most likely it's not gonna stick because one thing we do not know about life is that life continues to be <laughs> different and diverse every month like what you think you you will be expecting is not what you that will be coming monies will be flying left right and center so then you also have to tweak your budget categories and uh, i did tweak my budget category slightly mainly focusing on my variable um expenses so if you watched my previous video you would realize that i had six budget categories but this time around i will have only three main budget um three main budget categories for my variable expenses so that would be food and anything that falls under food um so before i had food and dining out so now i just have food or i could put food slash dining out or eating out i just prefer to put food because let's face it majority of my um expenses if you looked at my previous i do a lot of eating out so going to budget 250 although i said 200 um transport stays the same 300 given that i work every day monday to friday and i commute to work every single day and that's like 14 dollars a day in transportation just to get to and from work so 300 dollars if you do the math you will understand why i budget 300 dollars for the month and then i just have miscellaneous so my miscellaneous anything i spend outside of food and transport will be recorded as miscellaneous and that i am going to give us 150 anything i buy in um cash or with my uh, my checking account that falls outside of food and transportation will be considered mis miscellaneous now before i had food transport uh miscellaneous beauty household and something else groceries so i slimmed that down um yeah now i know i am doing this back to front normally you would start with your inflow your fixed expenses and your variable expenses i just wanted to say right off the bat that i did change my variable expenses categories this day so it's just three 
and i'm gonna see how that's gonna move for me throughout the month of february if it works i'm gonna stick with it and then we have my salary up here so guys if you guys could see this now my salary it has changed from last year if you've been my day one supporter um so i'm going to see two nine okay i'm going to see two nine i like to budget two nine hundred for my salary and let's see for my siblings contribution and you guys already know what that goes towards for 50 so 2900 plus 450 we have a total of 3350 dollars and to fix expenses we have health insurance We have life insurance. I have my school loan or payment, however you want to call it. I pay that monthly. And then we have family groceries, which I have explained many times. I have utilities. Okay, so no, I don't have utilities that I took out. Um, for now I have Apple services I have building loan NIS payment which is my retirement payment and then uh, consumer debt no <laughs> oh my god i'm making a mess i took that out i won't be okay i've said before that i have i am trying to pay myself back money that i use and then i had a revelation like why am i holding back onto the past when i'm in the present so this is money that i had and i spent it is already gone there's no need for me to try to see if i could pay myself back because that's just only hindering my progress in my head it's not like i owe the bank it's just my personal savings that i had and i just need to be make parts with it that i blew it and like just not focus on trying to burden myself with paying myself back although i said that in my january um video a lot can happen in a month i swear but right now i have changed my mind so i won't be paying consumer debt and if you are new you should watch my previous videos to understand what my consumer debt is it's not like i owe the bank like i said it was money i had and i was very bad with spending and overspending and not just on myself but for people around me um so these lessons should stay in the past and i don't think i should be carrying the past in my present so i won't be focusing on my consumer debt for some of you guys that may be different that maybe you need to pay the bank back don't talk about the living the past in the in the living the past in the past because you would have a high as hell interest to deal with so pay your debt your consumer debt if you owe the bank if you owe yourself you might need to do some thinking or reflection makes no sense because you don't owe nobody you just have to do better if you're spending in the present moment in the present time so with that being said, I am not doing no consumer debt. I took out utilities. So yeah. Health 
of my health um, amount, monthly amount, it's always the same unless I decide to bring it up. So that's 47, 47.15. Life insurance is 139.27. School that I know will go up this month because I am kind of um how can I say it? I didn't finish my semester in the time frame that I should have, so it's kind of like rolling into the next semester which I have not yet started so there's also a fee for that and I that's ad, that's additional to what I'm actually budgeting right now so I know a good bit of my money my salary will be going towards my school but I'm going to budget my normal amount monthly amount which is one six two fifty like I said, it's going to be more. Um, I just don't know yet. But then I'm going to um, put the actual amount once everything has been accounted for. Family groceries, $100. Um, Apple services, same $12 and 12 cents. Building loan is the same for now, eight twenty. NIS payment is. I honestly don't know. I may have to check with my previous month, my previous budget. Um. Actually came out for NIS it was one ninety. I don't think all of that will come out. I would see one forty. So let me just budget one forty. So I'm going to calculate or tally all my fixed expenses. My budgeted fixed expenses the actual amount will be different but we will get to that when that happens one seven fifteen one three nine these are numbers i typically know that will be happening for my fixed expenses um as you know as months goes by and things happen your expenses may be in a surplus it may decrease and all that sort of thing but you always have like a an idea as to the minimum payment and that is what it is for this one seven fifteen one three nine two seven plus one six two point three two plus one twenty six plus twelve point four So my fixed expenses in February should be one thousand four hundred and eighty dollars and eighty four cents. Well, at least that's what I am anticipating it to be. So we have three thousand five hundred minus one thousand four eight zero point eight four. So we have left two thousand. That ain't right. Sixteen cents, seven hundred dollars. I was aiming for six hundred dollars, but I ain't gonna stop myself. So two thousand and nineteen dollars and sixteen cents minus seven hundred. I have left with one thousand three hundred and nineteen dollars. I apologize for the noise in the background. My neighbor decided to rec um, play music while I am recording.
My sinking funds, I did not do any changes to it. However, I am not going to be dividing this amount of money throughout my sinking fund. What I will do is the account that my sinking funds are stored, I'm just going to drop the money in there. And at the ending of the year, whatever I have left, I'm going to disperse the money as I see fit. I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Okay. So, yes, I have singing funds and I will put them on the screen somewhere for you guys to see for those who are new. However, I am not going to be dispersing money out for its sinking funds. But that will just go to the account sinking funds. Okay. That's what it's going to be. And I'm going to be doing that, hopefully for the entire um year of 2024 so if i were to 1300 by 11 i'm looking to save 14300 so i am going to exhaust all my funds at the to my sinking account and at the ending of the year I'm going to take a percentage to treat myself if that means traveling and the remaining of that cash I will then disperse throughout my um, sinking funds and we're gonna do the same thing over and over each year I am good to go so once ever I know that money is being directed to my main debt I do not have to focus on any other debt because I really don't have any other debt aside from building and my school loan and my savings which is um considered sinking funds we have a whole bunch of them like i said it's gonna be on the screen for those who want me to follow through so when i'm tracking this on my expense tracker this is just going to be savings um will it interfere with my budget no like i said at the ending of the month i'm going to disburse it and then into the new year i'm going to show you guys the amount each sinking fund has so this is what i am looking at so this was a mouthful i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, see you in my next one bye